Hello everyone, it's Teresa here from St John's Church in Hartford. Today's a really special day, it's called Good Friday and it's a day that Christians around the world uh, celebrate and commemorate. But it's strange because Good Friday is the day that we think about the day that Jesus died. So why are we celebrating? Why are we even thinking about something that was so sad? And why is it called Good Friday? What was good about Jesus dying? Now many of you will know that Jesus died on a cross. It was a very painful way to die and it was a really sad thing for his friends and for the many people that loved him and believed that he was a great king who had come to rescue them. How could be he be a king who had come to rescue them if he was now dead? Had God got it all wrong? Was Jesus not really who he said he was? Well, to find out the answer to this and to think a little bit more about what's good about Good Friday, we need to go right back to the very beginning of the Bible. In fact, we need to go right to the very start, to the first chapter in the first uh, book of Genesis. That's the first part of the Bible. Genesis chapter 1 starts with a, a wonderful story about how God made the world and everything in the world is beautiful and perfect and God made uh, the seas, the clouds, the birds, the animals, the fish, the plants, everything in the world, everything in fact in the entire universe and the culmination of God's great work was to make man and woman and the first man was called Adam and the first woman was called Eve and throughout the story of creation the Bible tells us that God, what God made was good and that includes when he made Adam and Eve. Now Adam and Eve were really lucky, they could walk around in the Garden of Eden with God, they could chat to him, they could spend time with him, which is very different from what our lives are like. We can't chat to God in, in the same way because we could pray to him, but we can't see him, we can't walk around with him and spend time with him like they did. So something changed between then and now. And that's the crucial part that links back to Good Friday. Now. Adam and Eve uh, were asked by God not to do one thing. They could do anything else, but they could just do not one thing, which was to pick the fruit from the tree in the middle of the garden. And very sadly, they disobeyed God. They made a mistake. They were tempted into disobeying God's command. And the Bible calls that sin. Now, we all sin, we're all naughty, we all do bad things. In fact, I wonder how long ago, how many um, hours or days it was since you were last naughty. In fact, maybe it's only even minutes since you were last naughty. We all do bad things, we all hurt one another. And the Bible tells us that when we do bad things, that hurts God. It doesn't just hurt the person that we've hurt, but it also hurts God. And God was hurt by Adam and Eve. And because he was hurt by them, he had to send them out of the Garden of Eden and out from being able to be in his presence. Now I want to explain that a little bit more for you so you can understand that. I want you to imagine that this piece of card is um, a picture of me and this is how God sees me. Now every time I do something bad, it's like there's a, a, a dirty mark on me, a, a stain if you like. So each time I uh, get cross, there's a little one. If I'm grumpy with my children because they're annoying me today, there's another one. If I think something bad even, there's another dirty mark on my picture and this is how God sees me and every day all day we're thinking naughty things we're saying bad hurtful things maybe we're getting grumpy uh, with our husbands or our wives if we're married maybe we're shouting at our children maybe we're snatching our toys from our brothers and sisters maybe we're punching people because we're getting so cross and all the time these dirty marks are filling up the picture of what we look like to God. So we're no longer the perfect beautiful creation that he had made us to be. Now if we fast forward through the Bible to the New Testament to Matthew chapter 27 that tells us the story of where um, 
of, of Jesus dying. You can read it for yourself in Matthew chapter 27. Now, when Jesus died, God allowed that to happen because it was Jesus taking the punishment for all our bad things. So if we go back to my piece of card and I get a baby wipe now, when Jesus went on the cross, he died for that bit of grumpiness. He died for the time I punched somebody. He died for the time I thought something unkind about a friend. He died for the time I got cross with my husband and when I was impatient with my children. He died for the times when you've snatched your toys from your brothers and sisters. He died for the times when you got angry with your mum and dad because they made you do something you didn't want to do. In fact, Jesus took the punishment for all of the bad things and all of the sad things that I've ever done and that you've ever done. So when God looks at us now, he sees a perfect, clean, holy, pure person, just like Adam and Eve were at the beginning before it all went badly wrong. So when we get blamed for something that we've done, haven't done, we think it's really unfair. But Jesus chose to let himself take the punishment for the things that he hadn't done, but that the things we had done. And that means that when we are naughty now, we can say sorry to the person that we've hurt, but we can also say to, sorry to God. And the Bible says that we can trust that because of what Jesus did on the cross, we have been forgiven by God. And that means that we can be friends with him in just the same way that Adam and Eve were right back in the Garden of Eden. We just can't see God at the moment, but we can have that relationship with him and be friends with him. And that is why Good Friday is so, so wonderfully good, because it puts right all the bad things and all the sad things that have happened in our world and in our lives. And it's what makes us be able to be good and right and friends with God again. And that really is something that's worth remembering. Amen.